We are back now with our series, The Hacking of America. We've reported in the past on the dangers of logging into public Wi-Fi systems that could be traps set up by hackers and cyber crooks. But security experts are starting to sound a warning about us accessing the Internet through a commercial airplane's Wi-Fi system. When you log in, who else can see what's on your phone or computer? Here's NBC's Tom Costello. If you've flown at all over the past several years, there's a good chance you've gone surfing at 30,000 feet. You may assume the plane's Wi-Fi is safe and secure, but is it really? SOPHOS Cybersecurity Chief James Lyons says you should treat it like any other public Wi-Fi. It even doesn't matter whether these networks are encrypted or not. When you connect to them, you're handing over your destiny of your internet connection to some unknown stranger. Because that airline Wi-Fi is usually being offered by a third party through which anyone could gain access to your phone or computer, even someone sitting next to you. So this was the, the first screen that I sort of noticed that something was out of the ordinary. It was a red alert like this one that greeted Sean Murphy on a recent flight. His computer warning him the plane's Wi-Fi connection wasn't secure. If I were to access my email or if I were to access uh, pictures, they would have gotten all that information. They would have gotten my username and password uh, potentially uh, and then the data coming back from there. One of the largest in-flight Wi-Fi providers, GoGo InFlight, tells NBC News the connection through which users purchase Wi-Fi is secure. But once you're surfing the web, that connection is not encrypted. Past the purchase point, GoGo operates similar to any public Wi-Fi hotspot on the ground. In other words, you may be as vulnerable to hackers in the air as you are on land. You can protect yourself on public Wi-Fi's, say the pros, by using something called a VPN, a virtual private network that takes your information, puts it into a bubble, and encrypts it. And experts say whenever you're using public Wi-Fi on a plane or in a coffee shop, avoid accessing your bank account information, sensitive emails, and for that matter, any social media sites with your private information and your photos. The reality is cybercrime is entirely opportunistic, and every time you connect to the Internet, you are a target. Even at 30,000 feet, it's best to assume you're always being watched. Tom Costello, NBC News, somewhere over the East Coast. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.